ಪರಿಸ್ತುತಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾನಾಯಿತಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹೃದಿ ರುಧ್ವಾ ನಾಣ್ಯತ್ಸ್ಮೃತ್ ತತ್ ಪುನರತ್ರೈವ ವಿಲಾಪ್ಯ ಕ್ಷೀಣೆ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ಭಾದೃಶಿರಸ್ಮೀತಿ ವಿದುರ್ಯ ತಂ ಸಂಸಾರಧ್ವಾಂತವಿನಾಶ ಹರಿಮೀಡೆ ಅನ್ವಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಾನ ಆಯಮ್ಯ ಓಂ ಇತಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹೃದಿ ರುಧ್ವಾ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ನ ಸ್ಮೃತ್ ಪುನಃ ತತ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಅತ್ರೈವ ವಿಲಾಪ್ಯ ಅತ್ರ ಎವ ವಿಲಾಪ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಷೀಣೆ ಭಾದೃಶಿ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇತಿ ಎಂ ವಿದು ತಂ ಸಂಸಾರಧ್ವಾಂತವಿನಾಶ ಹರಿಂ ಈಡೇ in this shloka and the next shloka to gain atma gnanam a krama or a order is mentioned and presented and that is established so here pranan ayamya means by restraining all the sense perceptions here the word pranan is uh, not meant for only breath control it includes all the uh, active sensory perceptions then om iti one is said to chant om repeatedly then further to that chittam hridi rudhva the mind is thus completely withdrawn and then placed in the heart it is said that the heart is the seat of the mind so completely withdrawing the mind and placing it in the heart anyat na smritva not recalling or entertaining any other object thought forms punaha tat chittam again and again that mind ಅತ್ರಯೇವ ವಿಲಾಪ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಷೀಣೆ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ಷೀಣೆ ಇಸ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಚಿತ್ತಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ happens in the form of bhadrishi hi asmi iti i am that light of consciousness like this yam viduhu that self which is known tam samsara dhvanta vinasham harim ide i worship that hari who is the destroyer of ignorance which causes samsara so in the previous verse it has been said aikagriya dhyana paraha viduhu being completely focused in meditation upon ishvara the devotee gains vision of brahman so how should one do this dhyanam is there any particular order or a specific method to follow the shloka says pranan ayamya firstly restraining and withdrawing all the organs of sense perception and then om iti chanting the syllable om so here as i mentioned earlier pranan does not mean only breath control by implication it includes all the sensory perceptions then continuing to chant om 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 like that chittam hridi rudva the mind is completely withdrawn into the heart and maintained there that is you have to stay there 
for as long as possible. Now, this same process of meditation is uh, explained in Mundagopanishad as Om Ityevam Dhyayata Atmanam. Here, the Shruti points out that the heart is the physical place for the mind where the Atman moves. One may know that the self, Brahman, through the contemplation upon Om. So here, one has to understand that uh, Brahman is the Lakshyartha of Om. Lakshya is the implied meaning. This Om by itself is just a simple sound. So in the statement, it says Om Iti Evam. So Om Iti brings out the meaning that one should look upon Om as Brahman itself and meditate. Further, this same process of meditation is uh, very well mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. Om Ityekaksharam Brahma Vyaharan Mamanusmaran Withdrawing all the sensory perceptions into the mind, holding one's breath by yoga, one is said to remain chanting the single syllable Om, which is Brahman, remembering Bhagavan the Lord. Then another way of understanding Om Iti Chittam Hridi Rudhva will be while continuing to chant Om, placing the thought of Brahman in the heart, which is the seat of the mind, and not allowing the other thought forms, that is any other form of object, that is uh, smell or taste or touch etc. And even if any other thoughts pertaining to people and emotions do arise, restraining them, so that the mind may remain focused or mind may not lose focus of Brahman like that. So that will be the meaning of Omiti Chittam Hridi Rudhva. More detailed explanation is uh, there in uh, Bhagavad Gita chapter 6 for this type of meditation. Sankalpa Prabhavan Kaman Tyaktva sarvana sheshataha manasaiva indriya gramam viniyam yasamantataha shanai shanai hi uparamet buddhya dhriti grihitaya atma samstham manakritva nakinchida pichintayet yeto yeto nishcharati mana manaha Yato yato nishcharati manaschanchalam asthiram tatas tato niyam yaitate atmanyeva vasham nayet. So these three verses in Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter gives a very beautiful detailed explanation of how to perform this meditation. Sankalpa Prabhavan Sarvan Kaman Asheshataha Tyaktva. Here Sankalpa means a thought. It, it is said from a form of thought alone, desires for objects is born. Desire for object is said to be born from a thought. So this basis of the desire which starts as a simple thought is asked to be renounced. Then here Krishna Bhagavan says Manasayeva Indriya Gramam Viniyamya The group of senses are to be completely withdrawn by the mind alone. That is a mind endowed with discrimination. In other words while sitting in meditation, let the discriminatory mind be brought back to the object of meditation. This withdrawal should be total, samantataha. And then 
slowly slowly shanaihi shanaihi may one resolve uparamet the mind with a buddhi which is endowed with firmness courage and wisdom buddhya dhriti grihitaya and then atma samstham manah kritva such a prepared mind is that wherein another thing is not heard is not seen and not known focusing the mind like this again and again no other thought is entertained then such a mind itself sometimes will have to be dealt with that is when the mind continues to be distracted unsteady for whatever reason so bhagavan says yato yato nischarati manas chanchalam asthiram it is the mind that is to be placed in atma and it is the mind that has to contemplate upon atma so when this mind is in a state of flux it is not steady and not firm then tatastato niyamya etat atmani eva vasham nayet from that distraction discipline and bring back the mind shankaracharya gives an excellent piece of advice on how to do this he says you do not try to pull it back that is you do not try to pull the mind back rather you look at the very object to which the mind went you look at the very object to which the mind went then let that itself be your object of attention for the time being and then what do you find does it exist independent of consciousness does it continue to exist if you question it in this way no you will find that it becomes mithya that object form towards which the mind got distracted to you will find is mithya so then what happens you get your mind naturally back to satyam the truth of it which is yourself then punah atra eva vilapya chittam by the strength of such repeated practice of meditation dhyana yoga the mind resolves in such a resolved mind chittam kshine what happens brahman shines how as bhadrishihi asmi the mind remains as mind alone and here brahman reveals itself as bha the light of knowledge bhadrishihi that visual that vision of the light of knowledge shines and what is that it is the self your self yam viduhu so that vishnu or brahman is known as the self i am that brahman aham tat brahma asmi iti thus the qualified seeker who disciplines the mind by withdrawing from all sensory perceptions and contemplates intensely for a length of time he gains and visualizes that witness consciousness vishnu or hari or brahman as the truth of the self aham brahma asmi so tam samsara dhvanta vinasham hari mide unto that hari i offer my prayers pranaanayam yomiti chit तम हृदि रुद्वा प्राणानायम योमिति चित्तम हृदि रुद्वा नान्यत् स्मृत्वा तत् पुनरत्रैव विलाप्य 
ಕ್ಷೀಣೆ ಚಿತ್ತೆ ಭಾದೃಶಿರಸ್ಮೀತಿ ವಿದುರ್ಯಂ ತಂ ಸಂಸಾರಧ್ವಾಂತ ವಿನಾಶಂ ಹರಿಮೀಡೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ